Greetings. You may call me Zana. I have traveled a great distance to reach this house of rest and meeting. My home is far up in the mountains, where the snow-clad peaks meet the clouds of the azure sky. My skin and hair match the granite color of the stone I hail from, and my green eyes reflect the hue of the ore that sheltered my unborn form. I wear the armor of my tribe, and my head is covered by a skull. The tribe that raised me is small and caring, in their own way, and though Kalomira, the woman who took me in, is no longer among the living, I will always cherish her memory. She took me from the darkness of the mines into the radiance of the wilds. These precious creatures are gifts to the world, and it is my fondest wish to prove to them that Kalomira did not make a mistake in bringing me into their midst. I am happy that my protector has not been around to witness the strife for the past few years. As for how I found myself here, I was tracking a beast near a small village when an old man stopped me on the road and handed me this note. As I watched this well-preserved mail, a small bell rang in my mind, pulling at the strings of my dreams. As I read the note, I knew I had to follow its fate call. My name is Lyra Kalanis, and I grew up on the east side of the old woods, near one of the cliff's edges on the Cerulean Gulf. I would love to soar the skies and dive its waters. I'd be able to spend days and days there, just enjoying the view and the solitude, forgetting time completely. <laughs> this is often when my Aunt Celia would come and find me. I don't really know why I like spending my time here, but I keep getting drawn back here, even if I have to pass through the woods and attract unwanted attention. But it's worth it. On the way back through the forest, Aunt Celia would often lecture me about staying away for so long, but I don't really listen anymore, not, not really, because I have to stay vigilant. Because most of the time, when Aunt Celia is with me, they leave me in peace. But you see, whenever I leave my village or my spot at the cliffs, small creatures will appear around me. And they would start making fun of me. Pixie would pull my hair, call me names. Goatlings would gnaw at my dress. Some creatures even tried to make me trip. And the times they succeeded... I could hear laughter all around, as if these creatures were only here to enjoy my misery. My aunt says to ignore them, but this doesn't really help. But my village is a quiet one. Most of the other sirens don't really talk to me, and I'm not really one for conversation, so I'm fine with being left alone. I do, however, enjoy the company of my aunt. Especially the time we spend with our cards and trying to discern their meaning. Because these cards mean everything to me. They're the only thing I have left of my mother. That's why I consult them every morning. My aunt taught me how to read them. And they have been a great comfort for me during my years. I've always trusted them. And they have never let me down. One day... The cards told me a new path would open up for me. A path that would change my life. And that day, a knock sounded on the door. And the invitation from the Oracle was delivered. I knew then, I had to go. Hug, little one. Let me tell you a tale long past Oh, no. One more time. One more time. Hug, little one. Let me tell you a tale long past 
This is useless. I can't do it right now. Greetings from the far reaches of the Heartlands. I am Procyon, chief of the Oran Nymphs residing near Willowreach Village as their guardians. I have spent the last 53 years of my 153 years of existence being a bard and leader to grace all with fame, luck, and prosperity within my territory. There is trickery afoot, however. I am looking for my brethren, but no one seems to remember their existence, nor their feats in protecting our home. The people of the village seem to believe these feats were all done by me alone. I cannot accept this. I was only away for a day. A single day. The traces of their existence haunt me. What happened? Who did this? Why? With the stars fading to dawn, the disappearance was quiet and sudden. I must find them. I must. Precious Orion is also out there, so I have responded to this letter. A traveler on the road handed this to me. For some reason he knew exactly who I was. This may be the only lead I have. My name is Kaelin. I'm still sure of this much. As for anything else, that's a little more complicated. I woke up a couple of weeks ago washed ashore on an unfamiliar beach. My memory was muddled. I guess it still is. I remember being a soldier of sorts, a scout, in a large war against the natives of Thylia. I remember the large battle and falling into the sea. I assumed I'd simply gotten lucky and washed up after that. So I got up and started walking, looking for people who could tell me more about where I was and what had happened in the war. Imagine my surprise when, as I sauntered into a small town, I saw Thylian natives and non-natives working, talking and playing together like it was normal. As I asked around, I made a shocking discovery. That war I remembered fighting in had happened over five centuries ago. Everything I had known and held dear, my order, my friends, my family, all were long gone. I was left without a people or a purpose. I wandered around for a while, doing odd jobs to scrape by, trying to collect information about the centuries I had missed. In short, I was utterly lost. But I tried to keep hope that I could one day make sense of it all. Then. One day, as I was traveling from town to town, a strange old man handed me a letter, with my name on it, even though I'd been careful with mentioning it. The letter bid me to come to an inn, a sour vintage. I got the feeling this strange invitation could help me get the answers I'd been looking for. So, without hesitation, finally having a purpose again, started my journey. At ease. My name is Witten Terrafellow, a battle sorcerer by profession. I am the youngest of three sons to noble wine cultivator Nerana Terrafellow, 
You've probably seen some bottles of Terrafella wine around Philia. I'm told my father was a soldier, but we've never met. If I was to guess, he was of alien persuasion due to shape mine and my brother's ears. I lived a perfect life, training, learning, and drinking my way around Mithros, not an ounce of the arcane running through my veins. This was until one night where, in a fight with my oldest brother, I accidentally blasted him with a stray bolt of blue flame. He was fine, however for this I was banished from my family's estate for six months while I learned to control my gift. I wandered around the Philia for many weeks, starving and scrimping to stay alive until I arrived at the doorstep of the Step Centaur. They saw me starving and decided to feed me, and help me start the process of honing my magical gift. In conjunction with my formal spear training, they helped me become a somewhat competent warrior. They told me that my magic can be traced back to Pythor, god of battle, and a fraction of his blood runs through my veins. I stayed with these good people for two years, fully aware I could return home. But I didn't need to, for I had found a new home with the centaurs. But when the oracle called, I was not foolish enough to ignore. personality <laughs> oh hey. boy yes hello, I need to be hello. <laughs> hello good afternoon we're starting again with odyssey of the dragon lords been some time since we played um so for the people who want to know the story i do have a nice link i think i think we get it like this yes in here that's a complete uh, story recap on what has happened uh, other than that uh, people can always just jump in and listen in to one session if they want um, for now a little recap of what happened last time last time the group got together uh, in the temple of the oracle uh, or at least they uh, went down to the basement of the Temple of the Oracle, where the Oracle itself lives. Um, here they fought a bit, they talked a bit, they almost died a bit, and <laughs> in the end they got a, uh, a little uh, a, a prophecy uh, for themselves. Uh, to know what would happen if they would fail. Um, other than that, they uh, had a assignment for doing three great tasks, which they have no idea what they exactly mean, but they will find out this session. Um, and they all had a little bit of information for their personal so story. Uh, all this can be read in the document I linked in chat. So, the group is standing, still standing, at the Cave of the Oracle. Uh, Wynn, I don't think Wynn actually got hit <laughs> last session, so he's fresh in the daisy except his spell slots. <laughs> All right, yes, the carpets. Yes, we had some carpets. Uh, Murderous interior decoration. Yes. I never want to see another carpet in my life. You didn't I like it. I set it on fire before I investigated, so. <laughs> Do it like this. Okay. So you're standing there. Uh, Percy has. Uh, has taken a bit of a leave after talking to Kaylin. Um and uh, uh Kaylin has gone looking for the place 
they stayed for in about 500 years. Uh, Kaelin has a bit of a headache because of lots of memories coming back from this place. And uh, all the others are standing just waiting in the main room of the cave. Right? Well, standing is an exaggeration. Some people are sitting. Yes, <laughs> Zana is sitting down because she got very badly hurt. <laughs> Zana went down twice last time. Yes, because apparently a hag had some something against her. Yes. She was pretty, I think. Well, so is Procyon. <laughs> I oh yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> Procyon got smacked right in the face. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he did <true>. 12 health. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he healed himself, I don't quite remember. At yeah, I was least... brought back up to eight. Yes. <laughs> um. After a Do few you moments, need some more. No, I'm good. After I don't know my spell slots. <laughs> yep. Sorry. After some time, at least, uh, Versi will return uh, to the main cave. Um. Still looking a bit, uh, a, a bit tired, uh, sad, but overall doing okay. Um, and she walks over uh, to Zana uh, and gives her a amulet. Zana what? stands up as uh, she approaches. And like I said, I wanted to give you this. I think it belongs to you now. I I do appreciate it. Uh, what is it? It's pretty, but I don't un I do not understand. It's just a medallion. It's it's it was your mom's. Um not a lot i do not know a lot about your mother uh have never met her in person um but she must have heard about me from sidon i think uh, she and this was delivered to me just after she died i do not understand i am an oread talia is my mother It is a bit more complicated than that. Um, the power to create an Oread is... Um, there's more needed than just uh, a, a few words. There has to be given a bit of power to create an, a nymph. All of them. Um, and... Uh, so Sidon did not create a lot of nymphs uh, and you were created not even by Sidon himself but by the woman he loved at that moment um, I'm not even sure that he knows you exist um, I'm not telling him at least definitely now not anymore um, So there's, oh. th there's, there's definitely more to it than just being someone and a choice to create a nymph. It's confusing. I understand, but... I don't know how to how to explain this any other way. I have never did any research myself on it. I I know my I'm... my father is Sidon, 
um, seeing he has told me himself. And I've seen it as well. But with you, Sidon didn't even know you existed, probably. So he would never have contacted you in person. I am sure that if I had been raised and lived among other nymphs, he might have found out. But as it is, I, I was found in a mine. I was purchased by Amazons. You were... You were at a location where not a lot of nymphs are being born. Um, probably because um, your mother didn't even know you were where you were created. Would she have been mortal? Or yes, long lived. <laughs> it's, um, she, like I said, I never met your mother. I know she was. She was. She was powerful. Otherwise, she would not have uh, had any contact with Sidon like that. Um. She would never have been able to create a nymph just by walking up to him. There must have been more between them. Mm. So, yes, there was the, the probably, I, I don't know your mother any other than that. I'm sorry. Uh, no need to be sorry. I have always assumed that... Oh. I have always assumed that Tylea was my mother, since I came from her. But the only mother I've ever known was the woman who raised me. And so it shall remain until... I have... And that might be better, yes. The uh, Amazons have been the only maternal figures I've ever known. I do not see a reason why that should change. It probably shouldn't. I think that's better. Yeah, uh, Zana will uh, clutch the uh, amulet and uh, slowly sit back down again. Thank you for this gift, though. Yes. Yes. Um. Yes. Uh, shall we go upstairs? Um, I would like to talk to, to, uh, to Kyra. Uh, at least I expect she's, in, she's with you. She was, yes. She was the one who led us here. I just need a moment to catch my breath. <laughs> okay. I guess at this point, Kaylin returns, being a bit broody. Just hops back. <laughs> oh, Witten uh, with a pep in his <laughs> step has <laughs> opened uh, the expensive bottle of wine he bought uh, and is just offering it to people. Procyon is definitely going to be taking some as he's sitting down on the floor processing the information he got about his family potentially still being alive. Aelin absolutely will take alcohol, yes. They're gonna need it. Yeah. Uh, Zana declined. Uh, brings out her uh, own wa water skin instead. Lyra is just looking at all of the others and I think you need it more than I do. Just go right ahead. Yeah, well, I do have some information I think I should probably share. 
If that is what you wish, of course. Do tell. Do tell. Well, remember how you were all talking about how you two points to the two nymphs <laughs> are the oldest in this party? Point. Yes. I'm mm -hmm. older. Technically. <laughs> Pro Procyo's gonna squint. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, You don't look it. Good on you. <laughs> well, being frozen in time in a oracle's place without any memories. And there's like a little bit of malice in that voice as he just... <laughs> It just lo looks at uh, Hersey. I'm sure she looks very hurt about that. <laughs> Does that to you? I, uh. Yeah, I was supposed to have died 500 years ago. But I didn't. Instead, I just don't remember anything that happened in the meantime. Or not, a mo not much. Quite a story. Uh, well, I'm, I'm happy you're still here, if that helps. Half-hearted smile. Yeah. Uh, Sana gets a mischievous little grin on her face and... Uh, oh. I cannot account for the first 200 of those years, but if you need someone to tell you about the... Following 300, I would gladly uh, help you with that. That would be useful, and Procyon already helped me a bit with uh, figuring out what, what happened to my order, so... Oh, yes, I haven't told you that either. If we are all going to work together, that's probably better if I do tell you. They remove a chain from their neck, upon which is a uh, silver dragon scale with the insignia oh, of, of the oh. dragon lords. Most you're gonna take another big swig at the alcohol. <laughs> I just goes like, oh boy, hmm. D do we call you my lord now or uh, something? No. Please, no. I, I was okay. barely, barely, barely a dragon lord. I was not one of those from the stories that rode to battle on their bronze dragons and defeated all evil, all they could find. That's not me. Uh, all, all, all right. If anyone's looking at Zana at this point, you see her eyes narrow as she looks at that scale. And not in malice, but like calculating. Ilan is going to put it back in their, uh, in their clothing so it's out of view again. Mm. Um, Procyon, um, I heard the name Dimitreya mentioned with you as well. Do, do you know anything about this triad? Demetria. Demetria. No. Um, I don't know much about this person. Though if both of us are going, uh, I'm sure it will be quite important for the both of us. For now, though, I would quite rather not talk about it. Um... I think we all have something that's close to our hearts, if I heard everything right. Uh, just know that I'm here to help and that I'd love to go wherever we need to go. Of course, Lara. I'm I, well aware that this is quite important for you, too. I would like to go and visit uh, Kyra right now. So, I will be seeing you in a moment, upstairs? Right, of course. Glare. 
and she goes up the stairs. Well, I don't really seem to have a cause to fight for anymore, so I will gladly fight for yours, all of you. At least that way I might be of some use. Don't say that. There are many causes in this world, many wars to fight, be them actual wars with armies or more of a political nature. Even if there is no wars, there's always a purpose to life. Curiosities, loves, interests. There are plenty of ways to spend your days. Don't always nothing, have yeah. to throw your health. Uh, yeah, even if you don't have to throw yourself in front of danger to do so. And if nothing else, reading up on the history you've missed might be a great endeavor. Quite a bit of history. So does anyone have anything for this headache? Up wine. <laughs> yes, I'll take the wine again. Let's give me another swig. Getting memories back is painful. Well, don't worry, you'll probably lose more memories than you'll gain with this stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, they have, they have 500 years to uh, be better about, so... I hope that's really strong stuff. You well, it better be. I paid stop. a bloody fortune for it. <laughs> it is quite good. <laughs> I do have to say. I don't uh, know about the rest of you, but I do feel a bit hungry, to be honest. Shall we go and see what the... Uh... Well, temple has to offer. Yes, let's... Yes, hope that they let idea. us rest before they throw us out on our big, perilous journeys. Mm -hmm. I, for one, could get uh, could need some rest and uh, recuperation. Yeah, let's <laughs> go. <Rosie's laughs> gonna look her up, and down, and go. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's like traces of a nosebleed from uh, that uh, psychic damage. There is. <laughs> like, she's been battered yeah. and bruised, and <laughs> her eyes don't really focus <laughs> when she's talking to you. Um, I guess Kaylin will just extend an arm to help her uh, up the yeah. stair if she needs it. Yeah, uh, Zana does that, uh, you know that uh, clasp of your underarm? Mm -hmm. And just pulls herself to her feet. Gives a short nod and then takes the help up the stairs. Or accepts the help up the stairs. Okay, so you're going back upstairs. And uh, there you will see that uh, Percy is currently talking to Kyra. Other than that, the bodies have been uh, put away. For now, uh, so there is still blood on the floor, uh, on a lot of places, but um, the bodies are gone. I do wonder where those men did end up. Did they shove them in the rivers? There's some kind of compartment? Because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have just disappeared into thin air. Maybe they fed them to the uh, little steamy fellows outside. Huh. <laughs> 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 that is the kind of response he's going to make to those sprites. Way too much stress to think about. Maybe they just threw the bodies in the fire. Fire does have a habit of eating through everything. Yes, but it does leave a smell, don't you think? Yep. That it does. Yep. yep. 
you do not smell any burned flesh. That's well thought, I guess. Well, that doesn't bode well if we can't smell any burned flesh. It means they might only have vegetables here. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> burned Bro, flesh. Yum. Looks back Not burned at meat. <laughs> Frostian looks back at Witten and, and tries to think to himself about like I was I was talking about the burnt flesh of humans and, and you were first like boar or meat or something. Nine intelligence, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frostian right, yes. eventually shakes his head and he sighs a bit and under under his breath he's like. At least you're beautiful. <laughs> That's something. Um... <laughs> okay, ouch. <laughs> anyway, when uh, walking uh, uh, upstairs, um, Kyra uh, looks uh, looks at you, and uh, she uh, she smiles at Witten. Um... Uh, and looking over the rest of you, she sees that some of you are still a bit hurt. Um, need any help with that? A that place to rest. Much appreciated, considering our uh, other nymph friend here that did get uh, rather roughed up. And she will uh, walk up and uh, put a hand on uh, on you. Uh, speaking a few words, uh, calling for Mythos, um, and you get healed to full. Nice. Much appreciated. And she does that to everyone who wants it. Sure. Could use a few extra hit points. And she does that to um, you as well. And roll 20 update. There we go. Ooh, yay. So a lot happened downstairs, I heard. Apparently you had a hag in the basement. The murderous carpets. Yeah. Oh yes, those things happen. You should be <laughs> rather careful smiles. with those kinds of infestations. Oh, it's but this isn't, this isn't my house. It's Versi's, and she nods back to Versi, who still stands uh, a bit further. Um, I heard you have some jobs to do. Yeah, well, we're looking for a dryad, as far as I heard. Oh, you're looking for more than that. I heard you had some uh, some things to do, like. Uh, what was it she said? Something like, uh, shape the silver fires in the Lost Forge? Oh, you mean the prophecy? Yes! Uh, of course. Yeah. Those are the... Some mighty weapons, drink from a dragon horn, something with... Well, that's not something we can do. Because if we don't do that, the sky will rain black fire doom on Tylea. Yes! Oh. And we don't want that, do we? Nah. To be no. honest, my brain was a bit scrambled when all of that was uh, told to us. So I, I wrote it down. I, I can repeat it if you want. I appreciate that. I, I honestly wasn't listening. Apparently, hags have a tendency to uh, mess up your mind. Oh yes, they do. The prophecy goes as following. Shape silver, fire and forge. Claim the mighty weapons from Dragon Lord. Dragon horn drink and uh, sky will rain black fire doom of Tylea. Uh, I think this is the Cliff Notes version because stuff was happening. I think that's a. You got the important information, I guess, but might have been a bit different described. Yes, I think. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. Possibly. Anyway, um. The uh, uh, the uh, dragon horn and the uh, uh, the mighty weapons of the previous dragon lords and uh, 
the silver fires in the lost forge those uh, need to be done i guess by you need any help with this <clears throat> yes i would like to accompany you at least i don't know where any of these things are i will help you yeah. and i can help witten as well a bit then oh right he's probably in for a shock Rossi, I'm going to poke his head um, into the hallway as he looks at Witten and he says, Aren't you coming in? I uh, wasn't even paying attention, to be honest. Uh, That's... <laughs> nothing new, I guess. <laughs> okay, ouch. <laughs> He's uh, got a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. He certainly has, uh -huh. yes. He will there's meet. More. He will meet his family soon, apparently, or at least parts right. of his family. He probably has a very big family now, but he'll find out soon enough. Um. Anyway, um. I think we uh, we know our next destination, right? Uh. I would think Dimitria, but... Dimitria. Dimitria she was yes. in a mossy temple, right? In the old woods? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, best to uh, just um, go to uh, Astoria then. Now we can have a, uh, a bit of a rest. Uh, and the other... The tasks all have, uh, have connections close to... Uh, Astoria, at least. I think that's the easiest place to just get a bed. Would... At least I do think you want a bed to sleep in. Sleep would as... be nice. As long as I have shelter from the elements, I can sleep anywhere, but a bed is much appreciated. It mm. will take about a day to travel there, though. Is there, any, uh, is there any possibility that we might get some uh, rest and uh, some food here before we set out? Uh, Kyra looks back at Fursi. Uh, who knows? Yes, that's possible, yes. I guess. I haven't thought to... to my... Uh, my helpers... Uh, in two weeks now, I guess. Um, but they might have uh, uh, have some rations for you to to take with you. That'll help. That would be much appreciated. Yes, because apparently I don't have any rations on me. If I remember right, we did take stuff from the. Um... The last cabin tavern that we were at before we left to go save Witten from the satyrs. Yeah. That weren't satyrs, but yes. <laughs> Close. It's, it's semantics. They're yeah. all good people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Apparently, I don't have any rations on my character sheet. Um. Yeah, I don't have any either. So maybe we ate them. I, I have a couple. Nice to have some as well. Um, maybe I was just a dum dum, didn't write it down, but um, I'm not going to add it now, just in case I didn't have it before. I don't maybe know. Maybe you just gave us yours first. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you used, someone used the rations to distract the boar, didn't they? Oh yeah, we did do that. Yes, but that was uh, before you went after uh, Witten. Yes, yes, but it's just... That's where the rations might have gone. Yes. Maybe. But, yeah, don't know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but... Anyway, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Versi will walk... Uh, to uh, um, uh, uh, to 
and to Proteus. Um, and we'll ask him to at least provide for you uh, for your journey to Astoria. Uh, and Proteus will walk off for a moment um, to grab uh, some rations and uh, other stuff um, before coming back. And he uh, uh, walks up to Zana, who stands in front. Um, and he will offer her um, a total of uh, 10 rations, um, 5 healing potions, uh, and a little coin. Yeah, Zana is going to take the uh, offered items and then uh, turn around and divide it between okay. the group. And he says, uh, the future of Tylea might be bleak, but there is always hope. The people of this land will look to your actions as a sign of things to come. Seek neither fame nor fortune, but show them the true meaning of heroism. You uh, make yourselves the beacon of light as we enter of time, in this time of darkness and go with the blessing of this temple. Uh, Wh Witten will just kind of whisper to Prozium, neither fame nor fortune? Why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one second, what did he say? N neither fame nor fortune? Why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Pro Procyon blinks for a moment and then he says... Yes, why are we doing this? <laughs> and then he, and then he pauses for another moment, and then he says, "Kyra, right, I, I need to find my family." <laughs> Ky Kyra, uh, Kyra uh, puts a finger to her lips. Uh, not here, not here. Let's talk about yeah. this later. Zana is going to take one of the uh, packed rations and just boop, Procyon on the head, and then give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we'll, we'll be like, "Yeah, Procyon, my God." Oh, my God. <laughs> oh yeah, no, she's gonna... Procyon looks very betrayed at Witten. <laughs> oh, she's gonna do the same to Witten. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, and I guess you give everyone a healing potion, right? Yes. Okay. And you got one coin. Um. Yes. Yeah, she's looking at it like... Okay. She has this, no idea. Like, this is a, a coin. This is a special coin. Um, let me see what's the exact name of it. Um, let's see, where was it? Mm -hmm. The exact name of the coin is a burnished dragon lord coin a burnished dragon ah. lord coin uh, would i recognize it then probably this is a special coin um this coin uh carries the face of xander um on one side and an engraving of the legendary ship ultros on the reverse the coin emits a faint golden light, and anyone who, can possess, who possesses a Dragon Lord coin can understand the draconic language. And you now have one. Yeah, Zana's gonna hold on to that. <laughs> yeah. You don't Caleb know. Probably... You don't know. You understand draconic now, but you do. No. But no, but do she's. I... Do I recognize the the? working of that coin uh, you know those coins um they were uh plentiful in your time um but this is the first you see uh since you've left the temple ah. that's 
Interesting. How did you get that? I asked Kyra. Uh, um... How I got these? Those aren't mine. Uh, I think I think it's uh, it was Fursy's. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Caden switches to Draconic and says to uh, Zana, "Got the coin, right?" Sorry, I was muted. Yeah. And just in Draconic says, "Well, um, I guess this is going to be our secret language now." Her head just whips around and stares at Kaelin like... How? Lyra starts giggling. Sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Uh, you mean me or Sana? Says, she says back in Draconic. <laughs> oh, hey, another one. Okay. <laughs> Secret language. Cool. How many people here speak Draconic? Still stalking in Draconic. I do. No, no. Sure. Oh, should have said it. I yes. Well, well I, mean, I do. Procyon can understand Draconic. It's just that I literally didn't hear you, so I don't oh, know okay. what you said. <laughs> so, Witten, do you speak Draconic? Uh, is Shrek in this celestial? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, no. What? <laughs> no. No, I do not. <laughs> what did you guys actually say, though? It was, uh, they said something like, uh, this is going to be our secret, uh, secret language. But apparently almost everyone spe uh, speaks Raconic now. <laughs> I'm the almost. <laughs> <laughs> Winston ostracized. <laughs> and I'm just going to be a bit surprised. Why do you guys speak Raconic? <laughs> uh, Procyon's going to laugh a little and then he says... Uh, I met a handsome man. That is why. It came up while my aunt was teaching me to read my cards, so... I learned all I could about it. Alright. And a handsome man spoke draconic to you. Why? I couldn't just... Let that language barrier stay there forever, especially with what I wanted to convey. But, you know, I'm quick to pick up on some things. Yeah, I don't doubt that. <laughs> um, Back to common. Shall we? Shall we be going now? Um, I think it's it's better if we took a a longer trip today and the, the rest of the trip tomorrow morning. Yeah. Probably smart, right, guys? Mm-hmm. Sounds good to me. I would personally really like to get out of this temple because I still have headaches. I understand, yes. Um, yes, uh, let me say goodbye to Versi and then uh, then we are off. So, right. Kyra walks <coughs> over to Versi, um, gives her a hug, um, it says goodbye and Witten, you should not go there. Stay, stay the there. <laughs> Bad Witten. Bad Witten. Don't, don't go. Don't go. Do don't go ball. walk in. Don't go walk in walls. I'm not a wall walker. <laughs> uh, he so does uh, it in his sleep every night. <laughs> yeah, a sleepwalker. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Kyra says goodbye to uh, Percy. We'll meet again soon. Um, I'm just gonna um, gonna escort these people to their destiny, I guess. Um, Fursy nods and does not respond. Looks mostly at uh, Kaylin. Um, sadly. Um, Side check. <laughs> I'd like to see if I can read what's happening there. can uh, roll an insight if you want. Oh, oh I don't have a good insight. Oh, dear. Uh, 15. <laughs> but you roll well. 
you I do. at least know that uh, there's more up between uh, uh, Percy and uh, Kaylin. Kaylin seems pretty angry with her at the moment. Yes, and Percy uh, seems very sad about that. Um, so there's definitely more up to it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is all. No, of course not. But not even Kaylin knows you. totally. So it's not even Kaylin knows the complete story because he still nope. uh, misses a, 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 a part of their memory. Yeah, no, I wasn't hoping to get the backstory. I just wanted to know what was kind of the emotions there. Something. Yeah. 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 Um. So, uh, first he only nods and uh, leaves the temple with you. Um. You mean Kara? Yes, uh, uh, Kyra uh, is uh, leaving the <laughs> temple together with you. Um, yeah. Zana will wait a little bit for the others to uh, walk ahead, uh, and then just hang back oh. slightly. Um, so you're walking out. Um, yeah, uh, Zana will just. Wait a little bit and then turn to Verzi oh, okay. when uh, the others are not too far ahead, but like, yeah, and uh, she'll turn to Verzi and uh, the tribe I grew up in value sisters and family. We might be related by, well, in my case, an absent father. Perhaps in the future we can uh, be related uh, with common interests as well. I would certainly like that, yes. We will meet again, I expect. I do hope so. And uh, she'll uh, put a hand uh, to her uh, in between her collarbones and just give a short bow and then uh, run up to catch up with the others okay <laughs> so um, once you've uh, left the chasm uh, chasm um, Kyra will turn to you uh, all and she will say listen to, listen to me forget what Pro, uh, Pro, uh, uh, Proteus said uh, this is your chance for fame and fortune. Um, beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, you do want fame, right? More you... in it for fortune, but yeah. Yes, but it, it's connected. It's, it, it's, it's all connected to each other. Um, fame uh, is not something that I am usually after. No, but Neither then it's... I. It's... You want to you want to show off your deeds, don't you? Yeah. You, you want to you want to be known for what you're doing. I expect. Not, not really. No. Why, why not? I have one goal in life, and gaining some form of fame and fortune would aid in that. Should we accidentally save this beautiful world of ours in the mean? Uh, on the way, so much better. Yes, of course. Um, so, indeed, you do have to start with these great labors, uh, those uh, tasks first he gave you. Um, it will help you to save this world. Um, so that's good. Um, and I will make sure that your names are known throughout the world uh, for finishing those great labors, at least. Um, well, I guess it would make a interesting story. I, I expect it will. Yes, it's um, there's a lot coming up. Uh, 
that um, burning Tylea is it can be averted but only if we um, if only if you will succeed and work together to to get there um, so I hope I hope you will I worked so far yeah I spent most of my huh, mem most of my life that I can remember trying to help Thydia so yeah yes yes um now in this game there is something like fame specifically have you read something about that probably because it says something in the uh, player guide yes yes um the more you do to um to win win fame uh the more people will get to know you and uh will uh help you in your tasks and make sure that you will be getting uh, uh um you will you will grow in positive things um it will start with a little bit of uh, 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 uh having fun with uh what you have done uh a bit of um uh, uh, um what is it what is it all saying let me check let me check Quick check. Basically, like an honor system, right? Yes, it's something. Yeah, something like that. Um, but the higher you will get, the better uh, the rewards will be. Uh, if you get to a level, a bit higher level of fame, you will be getting uh, uh, money in shrines. Uh, you will be able to uh, sleep for free in places um people will start to follow you through the streets uh asking your for your autographs um stuff like that a nightmare for a rogue <laughs> a nightmare for a rogue maybe but it's not as long as uh as your um as long as long as your uh, 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 uh you can sneak around at <laughs> moments yeah. that you want to sneak around it's it, it's nothing wrong um, but uh, in the end, when you do manage to reach level 20 on the fame points, uh, you might be able to become a god. Oh boy. <laughs> that uh, will take some time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you, you will be uh, getting uh, further and further on the, that track. Um, you now have a fame level of one. Um, I do like that everyone in the party has such different opinions about fame. Like some of them, yeah. <laughs> some of them, like, oh, thanks. <laughs> now, um, Kyra continues, and she says, "Fame is a tricky thing, only." Um, it's easy to get lost in it and uh, want to gather all the fame for yourself. Um, but there is a way to to at least make sure that you uh, share all your fame with each other. Um, it's an oath of fellowship. And by uh, giving that oath to each other, you will be able to um, do all share all your fame with each other. Uh, you will become a real group of heroes instead of five different persons doing that stuff. Would you be willing to take that oath for each other? I would for the rest of you. I mean, I I don't really need fame, so I'll gladly give it to you. Yeah, 
I think the same. Group is always stronger than a single individual, but oaths are not to be taken lightly. It's yes. more of a oath of um, that you want to work together. It has no um, no negative, big negative effects. An oath without negative effects when you break it. It's hard to break it. Um, if you... Um, as long as you do not attack each other uh, or wanting to kill each other, there's no, uh, no negative effect to it. It's an oath of friendship. Um, more. More like that. Well, I mean, we've already kind of died almost alongside each other. I'd say we're already friends. What do you guys say? I have no problem <laughs> swearing an oath that we shall remain friendly, share things equally, and not actively try to harm each other. Well, willingly try to harm each other. Oh yes, of course. It's it's if you are forced by some mind control thingy, it's not going to have any effect on the oath. Rosie, I'm going to uh, mull it over for a moment. Um, and he says, even if there's not much of a downside, an oath is an oath. And a lot of things can happen to people over the years. I've seen it many times. So as long as, well, we know that we can stand each other, then I don't mind doing it. Perhaps a caveat that for as long as we travel together, this oath is in effect. That's possible. There's I no telling one... what the future holds. Uh, I have just one thing I would like to see if, if we do this. I, I would like to have a group name that speaks for all of us. Poseon <laughs> perks up a bit and he says, I can handle this. <laughs> I, have a, I have a few ideas. Of course, I would want to buy the rest of you for that sort of thing. But um, there now comes the oath, I assume. Yeah, I can give you the oath, yes. Um, normally this oath is, is done by saying the following. I am, and then you mention your name. And I swear upon my life and my honor that I will uphold the oath of fellowship with your warriors who stand at my side. Hey, type that in chat, please. I will yeah. type that in chat. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I will you're, copy you're it. You're speaking to a very tired Procyon. <laughs> like, I will yeah. copy it in chat. All, 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 the, all the characters here are just like, that. that's more than one sentence. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will copy it in chat. I just imagine that oh, everyone no. gives gives Kyra just blank stares. She sighs and then just hands like, out what? papers. <laughs> yes, she writes it down and she. There you go. There it is. Uh, I'm not originally from Dialy, all right. It's oaths are still a bit strange. Well, <clears throat> I think it's a wonderful thing. So I'll start. Uh, I am Lyra, and I swear upon my life and my honor that I will uphold the oath of fellowship with the warriors who stand at my side. And she bowed to the rest of them. Something. Uh... Uh, Witten will just, well, I don't share my expensive wine with just anyone, I suppose. 
Uh, I'm Witten, and it's there upon my life and honor that I will uphold the oath of fellowship with the warriors who stand at my side. <clears throat> Phil. There he goes. Let me check something real quick. Well, I can't just leave Witten and Lyra hanging. I am Procyon, and I swear upon my life and my honor that I will uphold the oath of fellowship with the warriors who stand at my side. I'll go next. I am Kaelin, and I swear upon my life and my honor that I will uphold the oath of fellowship with the warriors who stand at my side. Well, I suppose that it, I am the one who wrap up this group. I am Rizana Snowmane of the Amazonian Conclave. And I swear upon my life and my honor that I will uphold the oath of fellowship with the warriors who stand at my side. This was really nice. Thank you. Oh, see, uh, look, Thank you, Kyra. It was really nice. Before, before he says, that, was, that sounded a lot more formal than mine did. <laughs> Should I redo that? I don't understand. Uh, she, Zana looks straight over at uh, Procyon. If you ever repeat that name to anyone not in this group, I will stab you to a through and put, nail you to a tree. That's not very awful of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Procyon looks over at Witten and then over at Zana, and he says, quite, yeah, no, and it does not, that just sound like that's breaking the oath of fellowship. <laughs> oh, that would be because you betrayed my trust. Well, it helps that I already I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> for for the first time since they left the temple, Kaelin actually chuckles. <laughs> of course you're chuckling at the expense of my bodily functions. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just... The two of you are always... You know, fighting with words. It's amusing. Yes, Almost well. like siblings. Old people do get cranky, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm older than you. Yes, which is why you rude constantly. It all makes sense to me now. Well, who is in fact the youngest of us? I'm just I'm baby. <laughs> Everyone look at Witten. <laughs> I'm baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, physically, I think I'm still um, 23, 24. One of those. Physically, maybe, but uh, I heard you were a lot older than that. Mm. Oldest one here. Mm. Okay. Right, then I'm, I'm well, with uh, the youngest. <laughs> you sure about that? I think that, actually? I'm here with the kids group. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're the oldest one. Anyway, okay, let's, uh, let's... No, what, what mysterious secrets do you hide, Ky Kyra? I'm not telling. Mm. Let's, uh, well, go, she... let's go to Estonia. But she is hinting that she's older than 500 years old. Yeah. That's quite a hint, miss. What? No, I didn't. Did I? Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, let's get going. That is very <laughs> dodging the question, but Moving on. <laughs> I am going to insight on this if she's just <laughs> having fun with this or if she is actually serious. Same, honestly. Getting that same uh, that mis no. mischievous look again. Zana is gonna tilt her head up and just go. Well, technically, if we're talking both physically and life experience. I would still be the oldest. Mm -hmm. Of our group. I'm not talking about you, Kyra. Mm. But what well, does our inside get us? <laughs> as much as I love here prattling on about how old y'all are, uh, should we get a wriggle on? Hey? <laughs> Oh, um, Zana's doing this while walking. Lyra, so. Lyra has something... Something is not right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Kaelin is... Uh, um, okay. 
But Lyra has, some, has something of... I, something is not right. This is just so strange, but yes. Let's continue. So you uh, walk on, and after a few hours, uh, it's slowly getting dark again. Uh, uh, it's dark. Um, it's evening. You end up in a little village where a man is shouting after a group of soldiers. Um, you thieves! Get back here! This is nearly not enough for those oxes. Oh my. Uh, He's quite uh, agitated, don't you think? Lara just walks over to the man and says, well, well, what's the problem, sir? They're taking our oxes. Did they pay for them? Not enough. How much did they uh, shot you by? Those were my last oxes. Yes, but how much were they supposed to pay and how much did they? I don't know. I'm not selling. My... I wasn't planning to sell my oxes. I need them. So, so yeah, they forced you to exactly. sell them cheap. They forced to sell them. They forced me to sell them. This is basically theft then, just with extra steps. Where did these people go? Where did they head off to? Back to Astoria, I guess. Well, we recognizing that we are on our way there. Maybe we could find them. They're walking over there. Oh. <laughs> we can yes. look over in that direction. Do we recognize the insignias of these guys? Um they have uh insignias of uh Astoria. Hmm. I see I've forgot to put Kyra on the map. Kaden is gonna look at uh, Prussian. Well I mean maybe we should try talking first because my option is usually just, you know make right. some bow and arrow. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> Procyon is uh, gonna move to the front of this pack uh, and approach the soldiers as he calls out Gentlemen, gentlemen, I might need your attention for a little while, please. Yes. And one in the back is turning around. What is it I can do for you? Well, I was uh, quite wondering what you were doing with all those oxen. You see, the man over there seemed quite distressed since those were his last ones, and he does need them to survive, after all. The world needs them to survive. Yes, but everyone is quite concerned about how they will live and continue their lives. They have hands. He, he does not have many means of getting the profit back from those oxen that are now leaving him. No, that's a... Uh... He should take this up with uh, the king if he... Uh... If he wants more for them. There's nothing we can do. We have our orders. Zana will sidle up uh, next to Prozion and uh, in a manner that none of this group has seen before. She'll take the skull off and then just flick her hair and it's... Now you would know as well as I do that a commoner seeing the king is highly unlikely, right? And you both seem quite... well... Procyon moves closer to the other one. <laughs> as, as he says, well, knowledgeable about the subject. You are both here. You seem very trusted by the king himself if he puts you on this mission himself. It's not, king who, put us, we... it's not the king who put us on this mission. Um, but he has ordered... Uh, the collection of oxen. All the oxen in the area. Why? Why? Hmm. I would. 
I would think the king himself would have come to the both of you. Just looking at you, you both seem quite <laughs> endowed in these endeavors. <laughs> I, think. I was going to go with competent. <laughs> competent <laughs> endowed. That That's uh... and just, like, and just like physically applauds Procyon. Kaylin just arms <laughs> crossed and looks impressed. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Um. Procyon, he um. He's going to attempt to persuade these guards, and what he's going to say is, well, even if the king uh, does need these oxen, hopefully I can maybe help him by giving some of my um, valuables uh, instead, so at least one of these oxen can stay with this man. How much did you pay for it? We paid 10 gold for every ox. Then I will pay you back 10 gold for one of those oxes. Roll me a persuasion. 10 gold? All you paid for three? Does the king value such valuable I animals that low? 24. He looks at the others. Um, we understand that this man needs his ox. We can... We will leave him one. Oh my, thank you for your generosity. Most um, gracious and beautiful of you. Yeah, Procyon's going to give um, one of them the uh, ten gold that they asked for. Um, and, I mean, should you get any trouble from this, you can just say that the ox went lame on the way, and that you had to put it down. I'm not sure that's gonna be enough, but we can try, yes. Uh, Procyon is going to take the reins of um, one of the oxen mm -hmm. and take it closer to, uh, down to uh, the man here. And he's going to whisper to the man and say, I'm quite sorry I couldn't get all of them back, but here is one. So uh, you take one of them and... Um back to the man and the man will uh, uh, take the ox uh, back into this building and the others are leaving with the soldiers Kaylin's gonna lean over to Witten and ask who is king, king again now? honestly I couldn't tell you Oh. I haven't really been around the, you know, people for a while. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I know what that feels like. You should know who King is. Well? What did you miss about my not remembering most of the last looks at the people around few years? Maybe you don't have to know, but we don't should know. Sana, Sana, you, Sana, you know who King is. Who the I've King had is? I have absolutely no interest in monarchs other than the Queen of the Amazons. Really? For the past two hundred and fifty years. Lyra, <laughs> you should Lyra, know who the King is. Of course, most of her life. <laughs> Kyra, I'll level with you. Um. I don't remember things, and I didn't disappear for a few years, uh, so... <laughs> Seriously, it's Pytor! Procyon uh, looks to the side, and then over at Kyra, <laughs> and then he says in a quiet voice, I, I was more concerned with my village than um, 
been uh, outside of it. Seriously? Ah, oh, people. Uh, Pythor, the god of battle. Oh! A Good goddess? to know that it's a god, king? I guess. The god of battle, oh. he's, he's king of Astoria. Why would a god have need of oxen? I'm wondering that myself. You know, other than the feast on after the battle is done. There's not been a battle for long. So there must be another reason. Sacrifice. Uh, Sana will cough and you stop. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll ask him when we see him. Uh, we we what now? See him? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. So you you're telling me that we were going to visit the monarch of this place and I could have just gone there to get all three of those oxen and not pay ten gold to get one back? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know why he needs the oxen. Prosyon gives will... a sigh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. just looks at Prosyon like, I do know that you are fairly young. But walking up to a god and asking for livestock back seems like a fundamentally bad idea. Why? Well, considering the fact that we have no idea why he needs them, and it doesn't seem like this is a common occurrence, not to mention this god decided to live amongst mortals and immortals. Why is it a bad thing to live among mortals? It's not a bad thing. I'm just okay. saying that he seems more reasonable if he's deciding to live among mortals because mortals need many things in order to survive. They like to ask for many things that um, are out of their reach. He's very approachable, you know. Most of yes, the time, at least. That is, that is uh, the conclusion I am coming to, at least. Most hey, of are, you, are you yourself a god? You seem very knowledgeable. What? Let's go and meet Pytor <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Ira, if you're a god, you have to tell us that's the law. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a law to tell anything. It is in this group. <laughs> I'm, it, it, I'm, I'm not part Kyra, of this group, I'm you know. Her right now. <laughs> I'm not part of this group, you know. Um... Yeah, that, that's oh, something no. that you have <laughs> no clue. You have no clue. <laughs> Procyon's gonna look closer at Kyra. Woo! Be like, hmm. Kyra, hmm. <laughs> why are you not part of this group? You are just and even more invested as we are. Uh, Caitlin has no idea. Um, no. I'm, I'm just here to to write a story. Are you by chance? Like there are five gods, and I don't really think it's a coincidence that Kyra is the name of the god of music. Yeah. Ooh, scathing from Lyra there. <laughs> My parents like the name. <laughs> well, I think we should move on. <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to get what we need from this. Yeah, Prosyon is just... still looking at Kyra as he's backing up. <laughs> yeah, Zana is, has that calculating look on her face again, but then he just shakes her head and... Um, I should have stayed on my mountain. <laughs> yes, let's meet that god. Let's not regret leaving our homes. Can we go thank to you for, first? Thank you for saving my oxes. oxen. Or at least one of them. Trouble. I'm sorry I was unable to get the other two. Yes. It... Um, uh, Lyra just wanted to whisper something to uh, Procyon, but can also be after this. Do you want well, some? Do you want something to eat? A place to stay, maybe. Oh, 
It Where is getting we? late already. We would love a place to stay if you would provide that. You make sure I kept one of my oxes, oxen. Um, and I could give you a meal if you want. Thank that you. Sounds like Might not deal. be much, but it's something. Anything you feel. Anything you feel that you can spare would be much appreciated. Yes. And uh, he walks inside uh, together with his family. Um, and he asks you to join. Uh, before they enter, uh, Lyra will go over to Procyon and whisper, Hey, if you want to test that... Uh... Kyra Goddess, who she is known as the muse to many a bard, so who knows if you get inspired, we inspired, we might have a sense of if she is or not. Well, I mean, she did challenge me to a, to a um, battle of the songs, if I do remember right, uh, in Nisros. You remember correctly, yes. Yes, um, maybe we will see her true abilities then. I would like to see it. I'm just gonna call her Her Holiness, and just to be sure for now. Um, I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Um, that if she was a god, then um, I'm sure that she's acting undercover for a reason. So she might not be very happy if you blew her cover. Right. Hmm. Her nicenessness? Does that? No, I don't think that will work. And she just keeps Maybe talking to herself could, to think. You could what? say, my lady, it, it, it is appropriate in most senses. But people might just think that she's just an important person. Maybe not a god, but an important, uh, respected I'll, person. I'll just wink at her when I say it, and then she no. Seal's so going to nod. Um, he he does he doesn't think that that's subtle at all. But he, he's a move forward now. <laughs> um, you're all put around the table, uh, and the lady of the house is, is uh, putting up a a a well filled stew with a lot of vegetables um, uh, in it, at least. Um, and, uh, yes, um, he sits with you at the table, um, looking at you. And who can I thank for getting my ox back? Well, um, it, it was uh, my friend Sana and I that talked to them, but I do believe the rest of the party did give us our support in uh, their endeavors of intimidation, I should think. Nothing now, are else. you not willing to give me your names, or are you <laughs> just... Uh, uh, oh, his uh, name I, I is Procyon. Ah. Yes, I do. I do apologize. Um, we've had quite the day. Um, I have to look in my backstory. I don't remember the name of the town I'm from. <laughs> That's been so long. It's been so long. Um, yes. What was what was the name of my town? Uh, I have no clue at this very moment. Thank you. <laughs> I have no. I uh, I I'm, I need to look at it as well. Because uh... all I remember is is, is his sim siblings' names and Orion and all that. Uh, I think it was uh, maybe Willow something. I would have known it if if I had listened to the my audio track over again. Uh, oh, if it's on there, then we can quickly look into it. But is it really needed? Yeah. Oh, do well, you want? Do uh, you want it? Procyon... Procyon is just going to say, uh, oh, well, I'm Procyon of this village, um, and then he's going to 
point to Zona and say this is Zona. She's of the Amazonians in the mountains. Uh, this is Witten, Lyra, and Kaylin. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for saving my ox. Um, now I made a mistake. I have not looked up a name for this person. <laughs> Bobby. Ooh. No, 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 let me, let me, let me quickly, <laughs> let me, let me quick, quickly, uh, uh give you Bill a Jones. name <laughs> for this person. A Greek sounding him, name. We're Stephanus. calling him, uh, Chad Stone. Oh, wow. <laughs> nah. Call him, uh, Evan. Okay. Evan. Evan. I do like Chad. What's Chad doing? Chad. Hmm? Chad. No, no, I, I was saying Chad, the name the Chad. Nine, yeah. The name. Yes. Uh, probably possible as well. It's not on the list, but if you want to call him Chad, okay. <laughs> Let's call him Chad. Sorry, he's not on the list. I... <laughs> yeah, okay. Doesn't matter. When you add, you don't make the list. My name is uh, Chad, and uh, it, these are my wife and kids. Uh, we've been living here for multiple generations, as far as I know. But uh, something like this never happened before. A king who demands us to sell our oxen. weird right I, i've heard the stories from further north towards astoria where um the oxen have been bought uh, before um something's happening um most of the time the excuse is that sidon is asking for more and more uh, uh um Sacrifices. Tribute. Tributes, yes. Hmm. So it's... Um, I don't know what's going on exactly, but there's something going on at least. Well, we're going there, so we'll figure it out. Kyra is nodding. Um, yes, um... I'm sorry, I can't do anything else for you except for giving you a place to sleep. I do expect no, you... life's gonna get harder with only one ox now. At least we still have one. Yes. Um, There's a lot of people you... here who do not. So... You... Uh... <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I keep thinking that you've ended your sentence. Yes, now I've ended my sentence. Sorry. Um, Prosyon's going to say, no, no, you've done more than enough. Don't worry. Um, I do wish I could have helped the rest of the people here. I do know how important it is to have livestock in your line of work. Yes, it is. But I do understand what, if Sidon really is asking for more and more tributes, more and more sacrifices, it's... It's always been hard. Um, the reason why we had three oxen was to be able to sell them one at a time. Um, with all three of them at once, that that's just... This is going to be hard to come over. Yes, I'm sure. But hopefully, we will get to the bottom of this, and maybe one day we'll be able to come back and check on all of you. Since um, I don't seem to think that many come back here to care for you guys. It's... Um, I appreciate all the help we can get, but... Seeing... The... 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I I can't answer. I can't tell them what to do or what's going on. I I just hope that everything will be all right. Yes, I'm sure it will be. As for the reward not being enough, you have no idea how much all of us were absolutely desperate for a bed to just sleep in. I'm happy I can provide that at least. Um, might not be much, um, but we can give you our beds to sleep in. Um, While this uh, like super serious conversations happening, uh, Witten has been a uh, kind of uh, pulling silly faces and whatnot to try and make the children laugh to kind of distract them from the Aww. ill portents. <laughs> Of being mentioned in the room. <laughs> Roll me a, um, a performance. <laughs> oh, oh, but this is gonna be worth my. Hey, that's pretty good. Eighteen. <laughs> and they uh, laugh a lot about your uh, about your faces and about what you do. Um, they uh, uh, they. Certainly are completely uh, distracted from all the heavy talk. Perfect. Now, good sir, Chad, was it? Yes. I do not feel that you should be without a bed for our sake. Oh, uh, no, personal. We, no, 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 that's, that's all fine. We will, uh, we will sleep together um, in one of the haystacks. Um, Kids always sleep. love that. They they tend to get out of the house and to the one of the uh, 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 to one of the haystacks to just rest for a few hours. And he looks back at one of his sons. Um, Is we'll that be all right. Yes, that for <laughs> us. I cannot speak for the others, but as long as I am in a shelter from the elements and. Somewhat warm. I can sleep anywhere. It does not feel right to deprive you of your own beds, as we are just passing through. I agree. Anything that guards me from the rain, the wind, and is a bit warm, it's fine. Uh, I have slept on benches. <laughs> I have slept uh, in bushes. This will be fine. <laughs> I, I'm I happy with your... everything you are able to get. Thank you. I will not take your livelihood from you in any sort of way. If you need your beds, which I'm sure you do after such a devastating situation that you went through. I, I don't mind sleeping in the haystacks as well. I do thank you very much. Um, thank you. Um, and after dinner, he will... Uh, show you uh, where you can sleep on one of the haystacks. Oh yeah. Uh, can I, uh, as we're kind of in the stables and whatnot, uh, I'll kind of see if I can catch up with Kaelin. Uh, Witten will just go over and be like, "Hello, Kaelin. Uh, back in the old uh, temple, I couldn't help but notice that." You and the Oracle were making some pretty mean faces. Did she say something to you? Is everything okay? Uh... Well, she's the reason I can't remember 500 years. Ah. Well, yeah, so I can see how that might be problematic for your uh, friendship. <laughs> yeah, it seems like she has some connection to me, but I don't remember that. It's... And she has taken other things from me that are even worse than memories to be to be lost. So uh, yeah, I am very angry with her. Yeah, I got some pretty stinky vibes from her. Not gonna lie to you, Kaylin. Uh, <laughs> well, stinky I'm... vibes. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of you know when someone portents your future. Uh, you can't help but feel like you're being spoken down to. 
Mm. Well, I, it, as long as everything's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that she's wronged everyone... you. Yeah, no, I think things are far from okay, but they will be. Just, it's a bit weird to realize someone took your memories. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. Well, sorry for bringing this up. A uh, bit heavy for you know stable talk, but uh, you could probably use this and just give Kaylin the rest of the <laughs> now like only a few steps of the bottle of wine. You sure? You don't want to finish it yourself? Uh, he pulls out his uh, water skin, which he's emptied, and he's like, I've got my own. <laughs> uh, and he will find a bale of hay to just flop into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Pro Procyon's going to lay down on the hay bale. Is there, like, more than one, or is this one big one? There's uh, one very big one, at least. Um, it's a scandal. You can just grab some hay for yourself and then <laughs> make your you own can, little yes. hay bale. If you ask for for a second one or a private, more private one, uh, they probably can put you in another one. So I'm just going to flop down next to it. And... <laughs> this is the boys' hay stack. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Uh, Sana will look at the two and just and basically just find a corner somewhere, flop down. <laughs> and... I'm gonna call out to her and be like, "Why are you going over there? There's plenty of room here." I have seen how you sleep all over the place. <laughs> Procyon looks a little offended be before he says, I think I'm quite the dream to sleep with. At least that's what others have told me. That's an in-character snort. between the two of us makes me not even consider that. So when... Uh... I didn't mean it that way! <laughs> So when Lyra I... just, uh, just real quick, Lyra just when she hears Procyon say that, just walks over to the side of where Witten was and flops down on that side, just to be sure. <laughs> so when you're all uh, readying your uh, a place to sleep, um, Kyra uh, sneaks out and uh, will not be sleeping at, with you at the same. Location, at least. Yeah. Totally normal non-god behavior. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying Should anything. Should we follow her? <laughs> Let her keep her secrets. I still can't get. I can't get over the stinky vibes. <laughs> ah. So no roof time today, Procyon. He's probably doing this after the others fall asleep. Because Kaylin's on the roof. <laughs> Damn it. I'm so he, no, snuck, Procyon... he snuck yep. up there though, so Yeah, Procyon is uh outside of the barn, I assume now. Um and as he's looking for a better vantage point, um I don't know if he would have spotted Kaylin or not. Do I need to do a perception check? Uh, stealth, yes, yes, probably. Let me roll a stealth for Kyra as well then. Oh, I, roll, I rolled really anyway. bad on stealth. Oh. <laughs> um, 17 for perception. Uh, as. Uh... Zana is curling up in her corner. I just found something that I can use, but yeah, I'm gonna wait for to do that. <laughs> um, Kyra snuck away without you noticing, at least. Um, 
neither Witten uh, Witten didn't see her either. Um or at least didn't notice that she left. Um Yeah. Kaylin has been seen by yeah. Witten as well as Procyon. Wait, wait, Witten has also rolled? Hell no. Oh sorry. <laughs> no, that's his performance. That was performance. Oh, that's yeah. performance, sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Procyon walked outside of the barn and was looking for a high vantage point, I guess, when he saw Kaylin. Um Kaylin is going at uh, not oh, pa. Ah, wow, my brain. <laughs> Procyon is uh going to call out to Kaylin and say Is it your habit to be on rooftops? As uh, he's trying to climb up. Is it yours? Well, it is It is a good pastime of mine, I should think. It's a place to sit in quiet, where you can watch people, but they usually don't see you. Some exceptions, of course. I'm finishing this bottle, you want the last sip? <laughs> sure. <laughs> he says as he swings the last bit of it. He'll set the bottle down uh, on the roof. As he said... Uh, He'll turn to Kaylin at this point, um, and he's going to say, All of us did hear quite a lot from the uh, Oracle, but you seem to be quite emotionally distraught, and I should say the least. Well, as I told Witten before, if someone steals your memories, that is not the best thing to hear. Steals other stuff. Yes. Memory is sometimes all you have left with people. And I can see how losing that could make someone quite angry. I'm not... yeah. I think she also might have made me break an oath. Although I'm not sure how she did that. I see. How well, much do you know about Dragon Lords, Procyon? Dragon Lords? Hmm. Do I need to do a history check for that? Or... Mm -hmm. If you want, yes. Sure. Because I already know the basics of me telling that. Do one for extra information, I guess. Oh, 17 again. Nice. 17. Let me check. Let me check. Because there is some information, but I am wondering if you have heard of it. Um... No, uh, when you were born, um, the dragon lords already uh, were gone. There were none left. Um, you have heard of the dragon lords, of course. There's there's a lot of still a lot of talk going on about them. Um, not all stories are are nice. There are stories about dragon lords who are um, more brutal. Um, you even know of a dragon lord who uh, was um, was supporting Sidon at a certain moment. Um, so a lot of a lot of strange stories go around about the dragon lords and if you, you've heard bits of it yes um procyon will um sit down on top of the roof before he says well even though i was not alive at the time of the dragon lords i have heard quite the many stories of course as a bard i hear many things but not all of them were good, like the song you heard. There were some dragon lords who 
well, took the side of Sidon in the uh, war against humanity and the gods. The I think I remember that. This, yes, the ruthlessness was known throughout the realm. Many were hurt. But, um, I should say for the most part, they were people that fought for humanity, but I'm sorry I can't give you more information on that. Oh. Galen at least will know that there were not a lot of Dragon Lords during the war who took the side of Sidon. A um, couple of them. There were, there were some of them, but uh, they were quickly uh, kicked out of the order. Um, there were even uh, 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 Dragon Lords who lost their dragon uh, because of it. Uh, because the dragon just did not accept it. Um, Those who go side and side are not dragon lords. Not really. I mean, they were <laughs> fighters who at one point had a dragon, but the strangest thing, even though it, you have an oath with them, they will not go against their nature. You don't own them. You're not a lord of the dragon. You're a lord with the dragon. It's a team. Yes, I'm sure. If you go against their nature, they... Well, breaking it's not really a possibility, but... Dying is. What was yours like? What was it like to be around a dragon? Keep to school. It's, uh... Mine was young. Uh, a bit mischievous. <laughs> Loved to walk along with people. They were... Very good friends. I see. And now they're gone. And I should have been as well. You see, as I said before, a dragon lord swears an oath to the dragon, with the dragon. They swear an oath together, yes. And if you die, or if the dragon dies, well, if one of the two dies, the other does as well. The If the dragon dies, the dragon lord dies as well. I think it if says the, both ways. I think it says that the dragon will survive if a, a dragon lord dies. I think. Um, if your bond of dragon dies, you will also die within 24 hours unless it's revived. The same is true for your dragon. Okay. Rosion thinks to himself for a moment, and he says, Do you want me to speak truthfully about something? Truth is always the best, I think. Yes, of course, uh, except sometimes the truth can hurt more than placations. From what I know, Many of the the dragons that were left after the dragon lords died. It was not long when they died between each other, but if you're still here, maybe they are too somewhere. I don't want to give you false hope or anything, but if she'd somehow got you to survive, maybe they're also out there in some sort of form. Oaths are extremely hard to break, after all. It lets out a very humorless laugh. So, that's what I'm so angry about. First he broke it. I don't know how. She was afraid of me dying. So she broke it.
broke the oath. I don't know how. But I am very angry about it. Can we imagine having someone that... some... Someone so close to you just... That you should have died with just... Gone. Left alone. Procyon, uh, his face twitches a bit at that comment. Um, and he says, uh, you understand more than you know. Your village? My family. Yes. My family. My brothers and sisters. Orion. I assumed that they would be with me forever. Nymphs have eternity, after all. When... One morning, when I came back, and they... Were nowhere to be seen, and... No one knew of their existence anymore on top of it. I didn't know what to do with myself. I still don't really know what to do with myself. So at least when it comes to that, I do understand that feeling. And you're definitely gonna need this. Hands him the last bit of the wine. I he already drank the wine. Remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just hands him the empty bottle. Yeah. The empty <laughs> bottle. Oh. <laughs> Does Witten have any more? I don't know. Maybe we could ask him in the morning. But I wouldn't want to wake him right now. He did have just as difficult a day as the rest of us. Even if he didn't get as roughed up as some of us. Well, you got to hear that your family is still alive. That's got to be nice to hear. Yes, they're somewhere, but we don't know what they've gone through or why it is the way it is. But it can't be good. Well, you've got a group to figure that out now. Yes, we do. I'm grateful for that. Uh, Procyon's going to uh, hop down from the roof um, and he's going to say uh, if you don't mind I would like to have my uh... Ah, your star type. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'll, I'll so I will, uh, I will greet you in the morning. Uh, Procyon is, is just going to be walking to a different area. He's not going to make you leave the roof. Yeah. yeah. Ken will sit up there for a bit longer. Then they'll yeah. find a place somewhere in the hay. Just okay. like the um, days before, uh, Procyon is pretty much going to be talking about his day and how much he misses all of his siblings, as if he's talking to them right now. Um, and uh, at the end, he, um, he will specifically say, um, I do hope that you all rest well, now that I have some sort of lead to find you guys. I'm sure Orion will protect you as much as he always has. He was much better at that than I was. And then he's going to go back inside and plop down on the hay again go to sleep okay um i have one thing i actually can try now before i Yay. Yeah. Yes. i have i'm going to assume that we're no longer in a mountainous terrain no so uh as uh, we got to level 3 Zana is now going to test the thing that she started feeling in the temple and uh, holding her hand on the skull she's going to reach out her mind and uh, see if she can notice anything in their area using primeval awareness because rangers <laughs> so she's going uh, I'm going to burn her third spell slot on that Mm -hmm. The final one that she has available. 
and uh, yeah, she's gonna reach out her mind and see if she can sense. Let me see any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey fiends, or undead within one mile of her. Um, at this very moment, uh, was this during the talk with? Uh, between uh, Procyon and Caden? Yes. As soon as they leave, she's going to start trying to do this. What are we trying to do again? Uh, it's called Primeval Ab Awareness. Uh, uh, Rangers. Is yes, yeah. it is a big F you from Rangers to DMs. Basically, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, surprise uh, attack during the night! No. <laughs> <laughs> um... You do feel um, one celestial at least on the edge of your range. Okay. Well, uh, you don't have to give me an exact number. <laughs> I say now because I can't tell. I can tell that there is someone. But there is someone. Not, yes. Not in the direction or numbers. Okay, that's someone. Yes. Yeah. So I do know that there is some celestial person thing being within my range yes yeah and with that she's going to lay back and fall asleep <laughs> it only lasts for a minute <laughs> because i don't have that high spell slots but you know okay yeah Anything else, or can we go on to the morning? Lyra will just sleep. Sleep. <laughs> Witten will also sleep. Yeah, Witten's doing full sleep bubbles, like... <laughs> Witten is also doing yeah. full sleep. Lyra I, I think yeah. Lyra is then poking him when yeah. he does that, and then he stops, and then th that just continues. <laughs> okay. Push him to his side so he can actually... <laughs> yeah, I guess... snoring. I assume just because Zana said that Procyon like is really messy when he sleeps, I'm sure Procyon is like rolled all over the hay field. <laughs> okay. Um so we're going into morning. <laughs> can we take a long rest, please? <laughs> yes, you can have a long rest, yes. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Let's see, where do we do that again? Uh, at the top of your character sheet, there's a long rest button. Ah. And in the morning, uh, Kyra will put her, hand, uh, her head around the door and calls in, Good morning, time to leave! Procyon, mm. get your hand out of my face! Procyon <laughs> <laughs> blinks a bit before he sits up uh, and then he goes, Weren't you in the other hay bale? And, and then he looks around, and then he notices that he's in a different hay bale. He's in Kaylin's hay bale. <laughs> huh? Then he goes, huh? oh. <laughs> How did I end up here? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, before the party sets off, uh, Sana is going to take uh, her rope. And the five torches she's carrying, uh, wrap them quickly in a, a piece, like pieces of hay, make a bundle, and uh, um, since Kara says there's time to leave, I'm guessing that they will not stick around for breakfast, so she'll just uh, leave the bundle on the doorstep. Uh, for the farmer. Um, yes, that's possible, yes. As soon yep. as the farmer hears movement outside, he will come outside. Yeah, <laughs> she'll look up and... Oh, um, a gift for your hospitality. Uh, good morning, first of all. Good morning. You want it any breakfast? Like... Oh. I got the impression that we were leaving straight away. But 
Still, this is a gift for you, for your hospitality. Oh, no, if we, if you want breakfast, you can get some if you want. We, it's only a few hours' walk to Astoria now. Uh, Zana looks over to the others. We are being offered breakfast. Kyra, do we have time for that? Yes, y yes, you do. Like I said, yes, you can. It's only a few hours' walk now to Astoria. Oh. Then breakfast would be lovely. This is still a gift for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Any chores that need help? <laughs> You're on the farm. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, no, no. no <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll manage. <laughs> um, and he, uh, he uh, puts you all around the table again. And his wife will uh, uh, bring you bread and uh, cheese. Um, and some milk, if you want. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So you can have breakfast. Um, yes. And after that, you can leave if you want. Yes. Uh, is there like a little shop or anything in this little village? Uh, no, no, it's mostly okay. a farm, this. Uh, because if you hours travel to Astoria, there's no, not a real village, this. Okay, okay. Yep. Um, it's mostly just uh, a, a bigger farm where uh, uh, where some people live to uh, to take care of the land. Okay, okay. Um, yep, we'll go on our way. Yes, uh, Procyon is uh, looking very disheveled. <laughs> hay is everywhere, and he's spending most of his time you know, picking the hay out of his clothes and his hair as he's walking out. <laughs> um, but he is going to stop by the man as they're passing by, as he says, I do hope you have good fortunes. I hope so as well, but we'll see what the future holds for us. Yes. He's going to move forward with the others. Mm. Don't you have a spell for that? The stroll? Well, I do, but um, not, not bards do, but it's not exactly my uh, specialty. Uh, he does dancing lights <laughs> for a second. <laughs> um, and he says, um, I do have these lights and I can say a mean word or two, but um, I, uh, a part of me enjoys the humanity in uh, some things. Uh, Zana walks up to Procyon and picks a piece of straw out of his hair and uh, gives it to him. I was joking about your wild sleeping habits, but it seems it was not a joke. Well, uh, I did have a cot to sleep in before when we were at the tavern, so it wasn't really possible for me to roll around. But, um, Orion did complain once or twice, if I am to tell you a secret. <laughs> uh, as we're leaving, uh, I imagine, uh, Witten was the last one to kind of leave the stable. And it'll probably be by the time we're all gone, but if the farmer was to check the stable, he'd uh, find just a small thank you note and a pouch of uh, five gold. Very nice. And probably some feathers. <laughs> 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 yeah, there were two winks in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um... I think Witten might have even woken up with a wing in his face. Just like feathers all over him. He's like, not again. <laughs> anyway, one day you'll miss them, but that day is not now. Yeah. Uh, as you walk north from here to Astoria, you can all roll me a perception. No. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thirteen. Seventy. Yeah, Twenty-four. Uh, Procyon uh, notices them first, but Lyra is more 
um, more uh, uh, focused on them. Uh, in the distance, you, you do see a small group of goatlings no, running up to again. you. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as... Uh... <laughs> and they keep running straight at you. Guys, we got those getting into nice... a readying stance. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. uh... <laughs> Lyra's going to fly up her wings now. Not being in a cramped position they were yesterday. This flies up. Uh, yesterday? Uh, it would have been longer. Um... Yeah. The day before. The day before for the characters. Yes, it's yeah. it's it's, it's <laughs> a bit a bit longer also for the day, the day before for the characters, I guess. Um, um... Do you want to go and attack them, or do you? What do you want to go and do? Procyon's going to call out to them, and he says, um, "What was he going to say?" Um, I beg of your caution. We are adventurers here. If you do approach us in such a way, we will assume it is aggravated. And they uh, stop for a moment. Um, uh, look around a bit at you um, and run off the path into the fields. <laughs> yeah, Procyon's going to, um, to take down his slingshot and he's going to say um, well that was a lot better than I thought it would. That was he weird. Looks, he right? looks very. He looks very proud of himself now. <laughs> yes, maybe we should. Lyra probably... keeps flying just to be safe. Lana <laughs> has her quarter staff out. Well, she uses it for long journeys, just to walk as a walking stick. But she's just gripping it a little bit harder. <laughs> you is drinking wine from his water skin. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> How do you keep getting that? <laughs> you did now notice that the goatlings are mostly uh, traveling around you in a circle. So they do seem to go, want to go south, but they um, they were chased off the road by a group of adventurers who they should not approach like that. So they... Yeah. So, but they do run around you to get to the south again. Yeah, I guess Caleb will call out, What's the rush? What's happening? Nothing! Yeah, I think... Nothing! No... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they will answer you, just like what happened with Witten. Um... Kind of just want to follow them for a bit. So I, think I'll, I'll... Yeah, I think they're totally going to try and kill all those farmers. Uh -oh. Or something. Procyon's gonna I'm... sigh as he looks back and he says, God damn it, I hate gold things. <laughs> and he's gonna <laughs> go back towards, towards the town. Yeah. Lyra yeah. is going to follow the gold links at least. How are you gonna follow the gold links? Flying. Flies. Flying. Uh, and you're going back to the, uh, uh, to the farm? It's yeah. about 15 minutes back, so it's not that long, but. Yeah. Sana yeah, just goes uh, and starts walking back. <laughs> walking just or running? Because uh, the um, goatlings are running. Um, jogging? Jogging, yeah. Jog. Uh, High speed pace. flight? Not... I don't know. We are um, we're going fast enough that we can still see the goatlings, but we're going <coughs> slow enough that they don't notice us. So maybe we do need to do a stealth check. Um, starting with Lyra doing it uh, with disadvantage, seeing she is <laughs> flying. A disadvantage? Yes, because okay. you're flying in the air. If yep, you're gonna, or if you, <laughs> it, it, it's it's very hard to to hide uh, in the air if if you keep flying. That's a really big human-shaped hawk up there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
They tend to notice that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to keep flying, um, well, that's a ten. Uh, they will notice that you're you at least are following. Yes, I'm. I. I... I'm not really trying to be stealthy, to be honest, because I'm, I just want to know what they're doing and I don't mind them seeing me because maybe they'll not do the stupid thing they were supposed to do. Um, yeah. But it, maybe it helped the rest a little as well. Then you, the rest can roll, uh, 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 roll stealth. Oh, come oh, yeah. on. Why is stealth the only Yikes. thing I... Yes. Oh. Well, rogue be rogue. <laughs> Bro's about one for jogging, okay? <laughs> for Kaelin, just, like... Kaelin, Kaelin just dips into the grain field. There's just nowhere to be found. It's yeah, so Bro interesting to me that as a ranger, I have yet to actually succeed on a stealth check. <laughs> uh, uh, I will say that Kaelin um, starts reaching for their bow. Then seems to remember something with a bit of a headache. And then, like, I could try that. So it's not going to get the bow. Um, let's see if they do notice you, first of all. I've uh, uh, um, took the average of your rolls. And they do not seem to notice Sorry, you. Guys. Ooh. Thank goodness. They do not seem to notice you. Um, Stupid goatlings. <laughs> but one of them stops and takes out a sling and uh, uh, uses a sling to uh, throw a uh, throw a uh, a stone at uh, at Lyra. Yay! Rude. What? <laughs> why? Rude? Oh, yeah, I just remembered. R rude? I just, I just remembered why, yeah. <laughs> this is totally within expectations. Yes, of course. Yeah. That's that's the <laughs> entire <laughs> idea. <laughs> why I do it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I had the, I had it when I remembered that I needed to do this. Uh, so now I've lost it. Where is oh, it? Oh, no. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Here it is. Um... Let's see, it's with disadvantage because you're, you're too far away for a um, a normal hit, a normal roll of it. Let's see. Plus five. An eight probably misses. Definitely. But it keeps running. Um, and it does not... Uh, the others uh, uh, it kept running, so it's already uh, behind them now. So it's further... It just keeps running now. Okay. Can I try to catch up with it? Um, what's your speed? 30. Uh, you do need to... Your full movement to keep up with them. So I guess that even though he's lagged behind, I still can't get no, to him. No, no, no. Then that goes over. I wanted to see if I could grab him, but... No. Could I? Uh, you're faster, right? I have cunning action. So I can dash as a bonus action. If you want, you can uh, try to catch it, yes. But we're going to do that next time. Okay. Well, now we're... Uh, uh, it's almost half past six here. Uh, and seeing I do have another session in half, a bit over half an hour, uh, I will not be uh, uh, able to run a fight now. <laughs> Otherwise, I will certainly oh, be too late for my next session. Sorry. <laughs> it's a good one for next time. Indeed. It's a good one for oh, next time. Certainly. Hanger. Oh, yes. Um, I was hoping for another one, but okay. Uh, <laughs> You're through, Goldling. But Sarah it's. Uh, I, I, I will we'll stop here then. Um, 
let's see, can I uh, send people off to somewhere else? Not sure if anyone is uh, currently online. Phoenix is still playing. Why and is Phoenix still playing? Up. He's about to wrap up. It's it's yep. already late for him. He needs to wrap up. Yeah. Um. So not going to Phoenix. Um. And other than that, there's not really anyone I think who is. Currently. I have killer bits on, but that's about it. Yeah, he's currently not doing anything with D and D or something. No. Uh, so I'm not gonna sign to you there. Checking quickly if I do rem do see a name of a group who can oh I can send you to. Um, no, I see myself. Uh, no, um, not gonna send you to myself. I, of course, that's 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 not gonna work out. Uh, anyway, I will not send anyone anywhere. Uh, they can all go where they wherever they want. Um, and we will continue next time in a fight with a few uh, a goat links probably. If you manage to catch up, uh, and if they stop at the, uh, at the, uh, at the uh, what's called the farm, uh -huh. the farm. Otherwise, they will just keep running, and then you're gonna have a much more, much, much harder time to catch up with them. Yeah. Um. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Um, oh, yes. In two weeks, uh, the group already knows the title of the uh, next session. <laughs> if they manage to remember it, at least. Um, for now, we will uh, wrap up here and hopefully we'll see you again uh, next time. In two weeks, we will be playing again. In two weeks, same time, uh, Saturday at the same time as today. Um, so for now, I do wish you all a, a good day. A goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.